Hey Saints, I um, wanted to let you know I haven't forgotten about you. I am doing deliverance cases that fell in my lap. And not only that, there are some brothers and sisters in Christ that are in serious trouble and I'm trying to help them out. So um, that's why I've been on here for, the, for a few days. I will be back. Okay. Um, I have a lot to go over with you. I'm going to cover it as much as I possibly can. I will tell you this, okay, that I had a dream, and in the dream that I had, I saw riots, okay? Um, the United States looked like a third world nation, like I told you before. You already know that there's Syria are Syrian refugees that are headed to the United States to over 200 cities. You guys need to know that these are Syrians that are not being processed or screened. And the government is telling us, the people, that they can't guarantee that ISIS isn't is posing as refugees. I asked the father about that and ISIS is posing as refugees. So um, things are getting really interesting, not in a good way. It's getting more dangerous. And all I have to do, all I have to say is be ready to defend yourself. Okay? Trust Jesus Christ, but be ready to defend yourself because the country is being flooded with these Syrians. And I'm not saying all these Syrians are ISIS members. I'm saying that a small percentage of them are righteous, but a lot of them are Islamic, you know, of the Muslim faith. And a lot of them are posing as ISIS. I mean, I'm sorry, the ISIS members posing as refugees. And we as the body of Christ need to stand together. We need to help one another. Because it's going to get really rough. And Jesus did prophesy in the Bible that we are going to see rough times. Suffering unlike anything humanity has ever seen. So, I don't know when I'm going to be back on here to record a video. But, I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm helping brothers and sisters in Christ that are in serious trouble. And I'm putting myself at risk. And I'm putting myself out there. But it's okay. If something happens to me, I know that I'll die for my Father, Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, you probably hear false rumors about me from false prophets I've exposed. The lies that they spread, not just about me, but about other watchmen, true watchmen. We're not here for our glory. All the glory goes to Jesus Christ. Our ministries are meant to prepare you for things like this. For what's happening. Example, Russia invaded Syria. They have boots on the ground and they're supporting Assad. And America is supporting the rebels, and Assad's opposing the rebels. So you have Russia on one side, and America's on the opposite side. And Syria, of course, invaded, I'm sorry, Israel invaded Syria as well. And Syria, Israel's being backed into a corner because the Iran deal's been given a green light, and Nobody's stopping Iran. It's okay, it's Bible prophecy. Only Jesus Christ can stop Iran. But the fact of the matter is, Israel is in serious danger. So Israel is being backed into a corner. You have the European Union basically voting that Israel is not a Jewish state, that they shouldn't exist. Israel has every right to exist. You see, the Quran 
which is a satanic Bible, teaches that it, it, it stole a lot of Christian ideologies and principalities from the Bible and perverted it. And it teaches that Israel is Palestine, that the Palestines were blessed, that Esau was the blessed one and not Jacob, and that Israel is an occupied land. And no, ladies and gentlemen, that's not true. Israel, Jacob, was blessed. And Jacob is unrightful, righteous land that belongs to them, that rightfully belongs to them. It was given to them by the Lord Jesus Christ, bestowed upon Abraham, bestowed upon Jacob, Isaac, and then Jacob. And Palestines are the ones that are trying to take their land. And it's Bible prophecy. But the world is turning against Israel. That's happening too. So, I've told you about dreams that I've had about unusual diseases popping up. 30,000 year old virus in Siberia was discovered. Other viruses are popping up. Deadly ones. Deadly pathogens. Scientists are unthawing them. Waking them up. Because they want to harness their essence. Biological warfare, the Lord told me. CERN. I had a dream about CERN. I'm going to give you a quick synopsis on that. I had a dream that I was standing in what looked like high school. First of all, there was it, was, it looked like there was a man traveling on a business trip and he put a helmet on. And he was standing in front of a portal. And it was like the portal. On the other side of the portal, I'm going to tell you right now, it was hell. It was like, it looked serene. Blue skies, green pastures, counterfeit to God's heaven. And then the sky started to peel back and it was red and black and it was fire everywhere. And... Um, the guy took the helmet off. It was like one of those virtual helmets. Well, no, the guy put the helmet on and he wasn't able to take it off. It was a guy who looked like he was going on a business trip. And then in school, it was a high school kid that had that same helmet on. I don't know if this means that they're going to increase technology or people are going to be wearing these virtual helmets and they're going to be able to see into the spirit realm with that, I don't know. But I think this has more, more of a significant meaning. Um, this gentleman, uh, like a high school kid, he put the helmet on and then he couldn't take it off. So while he was wearing a helmet, it was weird because a kid walked through him and the kid, the high school kid became like a portal. Lord told me that means that Humanity wants to mess with things that they don't understand. They want to open up all these portals. The Lord's going to allow it to happen. The gates of hell will be open, just like it's prophesied in the book of Revelation. This will happen sometime in the, during the tribulation, I believe. But in the dream, the kid was a portal for a doorway for demons to enter through. So I believe what the dream was saying is that this, the realms between the physical and the spirit are going to break down, and CERN, I believe, is going to play a role in that, as I told you before. Look, I can't keep this broadcast going, but I'm going to be back as soon as possible, okay? What I need you to understand is that we, as a body of Christ, have to stand together. We have to help one another, because it's getting really rough. We have to stand together as one body, with Jesus Christ as the head, and we have to help one another. If you see someone that's falling off the path, path and they're in error, restore them to righteousness like it says in the Word of God. These false prophets that I expose, avoid them at all costs. They blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is going to deal with them. I dust my feet off about those false prophets. I've given you evidence, I've given you information told you many times to test the spirits, even test the information that I'm telling you. But we have to stand together as a body of Christ. Test the spirits. Don't let yourselves get deceived by these false prophets, by anyone, by any means necessary. You make sure that you stay close to Jesus. Because the Father told me that 
there is going to be a great, a great shaking on this land, and that they're going to see suffering unlike anything ever seen. Jesus Christ prophesied this. So I'm just telling you to, to stay close to the Father, help one another, comfort one another, love one another. Stay close. Stay like a family unit. Stay united together. Because if we're united together, we're strong in Jesus Christ. We are united on the rock, and that rock is Jesus Christ, who is God, the rock of Israel. Amen? I will be back as soon as possible. But I'm here to tell you that it's really getting bad. And I, I've i seen so many things, I, I don't even know where to begin. I see angels, I see demons. I've seen Jesus Christ before. I've kneeled before his throne. It's as beautiful as they say. All the testimonies. Heaven's as beautiful as they say. I promise you. If you live for the Lord. It's worth it what you'll get in the end. That crown is worth it. Heaven is worth it. Defend the cross ladies and gentlemen. Even if it means putting your life on the line like I am. Even if it means that you have to be a martyr for Christ, like I'm willing to be.